Hello, hello, my name is Kate. And today I'm talking about something that we all ask ourselves all the time. Do you struggle with setting your pricing? Do you often find yourself second guessing what your customers are willing to pay? <laughs> because don't worry, you are not alone. Whether we're starting out our business or we're established, we are asking ourselves these questions all the time, especially because the last few years, things have been a roller coaster in the way of inquiries and bookings and such with COVID and then no COVID and now potential recession and all this stuff. So it goes like this constantly and we doubt, we question, we wonder. I'm gonna help you determine how to choose that right pricing for you, for your location, for your business. My first tip is something that's so important is knowing the cost of your business. You need to understand it's not just the cost of your gear. So you've got your cost of your gear. You have the cost of marketing, of software, of editing. You've got monthly fees. You have large one-time fees if it's for gear. And not only that, the time. How much time are you spending on every single photo shoot and on all of your marketing and all of that? Because that all comes into play. So your time, you have to establish your cost of business. And there's lots of online tools to be able to establish your cost of business. Throw it all in there. Your cost traveling to your photo shoot, parking, all that comes into play. So establish all of that, bring all your numbers in, because once you have a clear idea of your cost, you can then determine how much you have to make per photo shoot to be able to make it financially worth it for you. If you don't have all of your costs accumulated into one place to determine the amount of time it takes for every single photo shoot, you don't know if you're going to be making money, losing money, or doing it for free. Let's be honest. It's all a business is all about making money. So you have to make it financially worth your, your time, your gain, and the evolution of your business to be able to price yourself to make it worth your time. That takes me to point number two, and that is to do market research, market research for your area, because different cities, different countries, different provinces or states, everywhere is going to have a very different price point. So you need to do some research and your price will also come down to what people are willing to pay. You know, you have all, all so many steps go into what's willing to pay. And that's, you know, building your brand and building your portfolio. And those are things I've talked about on other videos. You need to have an understanding as to what your competitors are charging. People that you see yourself on par with in the way of their business established, the work that you're putting out, all of this, you need to do some research. You can look through their websites, go on Google, find some sort of price point, some sort of guidance as to what the market value is for your area. There's, it, it's such a hard fine line as to where to set your prices, because if you set them too high, because you, you feel the value of your business. If people aren't willing to pay it, then you're, you're marketing too high. If you're too low, then you're selling yourself short and you're doing the work for practically nothing. Whereas you've got to find that balance. So do your market research, search online, find some, some comparables were huge and valuable for you. And then you can set your pricing based on that and how you're wanting to book and how you're wanting your clients to value you as well. You don't want a client to undervalue you because you're charging $75 for a shoot because they're going to take that much value in that photo shoot and the respect and the loyalty that kind of goes with that a little bit too also goes kind of snowballs. With setting these prices, there's multiple ways that you can actually set your pricing. So choosing your pricing model will help you establish how you want to outline your packages. You can do hourly rates, you can do package rate, and you can just do like a flat rate. This is like a full day, do whatever you like. Determining that and what your outcome is gonna be will help you determine how you want your packages to sit. Depending on what you're photographing, this will also implement things as well. So if you're doing an hourly rate, that's great for a family photo shoot, a couple's photo shoot. An hourly rate is perfect, I like that. Or if you're doing a wedding package, for instance, I would not suggest necessarily just doing hourly because people love having an all-inclusive package and that can be so many hours wedding photography, an engagement photo shoot, all your photos, and determining also how many photos you're gonna put into your packages that dictates time. If you're gonna give somebody every photo you take, well, when you do an engagement photo shoot, you're gonna have a lot of crap photos in there, but if you set every photo, then that dictates every photo. And you then have to decide what you're willing to actually provide your client. If you allow a minimum photo count, then you are establishing, okay, I'm guaranteeing you this many photos. And if I choose to give you more, that's my choice because that's your time. Editing and culling time, and backing up time, sending, that that all comes into your cost of business. Tip number four is when you're trying to outline your packages and your pricing, you have to determine who your target audience is. If you're targeting younger adults, chances are they might not have the price point that you're looking for if you're wanting a high end market. If you're wanting families, well, families typically get their photos done once every year. Well, if you have a high price point for that, 
they might be more inclined to go to a different photographer, whereas they can go every year for a much more reasonable price point for families. If you're going for weddings, there's elopements, there's high end, like downtown cities, small town, like people that are just wanting to get married and they want someone to capture it. So you have to choose who your target audience and who your client is that you really want to establish for. Once you've established your target audience, you can then do some market research into what they are willing to pay for your services. If someone's not willing to pay for your services or pay for that price point, then your services are not worth that value to that client. So maybe you need, might need to change your target audience and market to a different area. And tip number five, once you've started to accumulate these pricing and create these packages that work for you, for your target audience, you need to be very transparent and consistent in what you're offering for everything that you're doing. You need to put this out there, social media, website, content, whatever it might be, inquiry, if you've got a PDF, if you want a high value package, you need to voice that in everything that you do. There has to be that loyalty and that trust and you're building that with everything that you're putting out there. They need to understand what they're getting. If you've got a lower price point, that's because you're not necessarily putting in the time for helping them really establish the time with you, uh, create that relationship, you know, guides or whatever it might be. So this is why it's a lower price point versus if you want a higher price point, they get guides, they get questionnaires, they get personal calls, they get whatever it might be. So establishing these is really gonna help you build that trust with your client. And then that's why they're gonna come. There's so much that goes into creating your pricing is that the market research is determining how much your value, you feel that your value is and who your target audience is to determine if you can actually market to them at the price point that you have. You need to build that trust with them. You need to be able to communicate what your value is and why maybe you're at a higher price point and you're a lower price point. Whatever it is that works for you and your business and your clients that you're going for, taking all of this, establishing all of that into a pricing package, communicating it with your client, that is how you're going to know if you're in the right ballpark for your pricing. But after all, yes, photography might be a passion. Putting it into a business is a business. It has to be profitable or it's not worth your time. Because if you're not accounting for travel, your travel time, your parking time, all of this, like it matters. It truly does. So find your price point, do your research, target your audience, be transparent and just work, own it, value it, have clients value it for you. So go out there, do your research, set your packages, find your boundaries, and it will really help you establish who you're talking to and communicate your value to them because you're valuable as a photographer, as a business owner, as someone that is going to create and capture these memories for other people, own it. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm so glad that you are. I truly I love that you are here supporting me while I can support you and help you grow your business and have it be profitable, have it be speaking to your right people because there's nothing worse than feeling like you're not hitting your right clients and you're not making the right money off of it because you're not sure how to price your work, price your time. So take these, establish it and come back next week. I'm going to have more for you, something to help uplevel your business and make you feel valued and it's worth it because we get to do what we love to do and we get to learn for free. Have a great day. I will see you next week. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button and then it will alert you when my next video comes out. See you soon.